this is going to be page 44. <coughs> Please be seated. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning that Lord has made for us to come together as a congregation and praise, prayer, worship, song, and celebration. The announcements as are in the bulletin are the announcements from the congregation at this time. Yes, Savannah. So Thanks for the toys for the Children's Hospital. They'll be going down this Thursday. Anyone else? Are there any prayer requests at this time? Let us pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for our time together today in your presence, for the glories of this past year, for the birth of your son that we've celebrated as we look forward to a new year that we be reinvigorated, re-inspired through the service to him. In his son's precious name we pray. Amen. We get, please rise for the opening of the service. We gather in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The light of Christ shines in the darkness. The Word became flesh and lived among us. And the Word was life. The life was the light of all people. Oops, sorry. It's not my mistake. All things in heaven and on earth come, came into being through the Word of God. This Word incarnate is the source of life, hope, and salvation for all who believe. Come, let, us worship the truth. let us pray. Christ Jesus, you took on the form of God, yet you do not regard equality with God as something to be exploited. Rather, you emptied ourselves, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness. You humbled yourself in this life and became obedient to the de point of death, even death on the cross. All this you did for the sake of us who do not deserve such mercy and grace. For this we thank you we, with our hearts and praise your holy name. Please be seated.
Today's first lesson is taken from 1 Samuel chapter 2, beginning with verse 18. But Samuel was ministering before the Lord, a boy wearing a linen ephod. Each year his mother made him a little robe and took it to him when she went up with her husband to offer the annual sacrifice. Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife, saying, May the Lord give you children by this woman to take the place of the one she prayed for and gave to the Lord. Then they would go home. And the Lord was gracious to Hannah. She conceived and gave birth to three sons and two daughters. Meanwhile, the boy Samuel grew up in the presence of the Lord. Now Eli, who was very old, heard about everything his sons were doing to all Israel and how they slept with the women who served at the entrance to the tent of meeting. So he said to them, Why do you do such things? I hear from all the people about these wicked deeds of yours. No, my sons, it is not a good report that I hear spreading among the Lord's people. If a man sins against another man, God may mediate for him. But if a man sins against the Lord, who will intercede for him? His sons, however, did not listen to their father's rebuke, for it was the Lord's will to put them to death. And the boy Samuel continued to grow in stature and in favor with the Lord and with men. We will now sing the, the hymn, Good Christian Friends Rejoice, verses 1 and 2 on page 55. The second reading is taken from Micah, chapter 5, beginning with verse 2. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, th though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor gives birth and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth, and he will be their peace. We'll now sing, O Little Town of Bethlehem, verses 1 and 4 on page 41.
The third reading is taken from Matthew chapter 2, beginning with verse 13. And the background on this is that the Magi had been talking to Herod about the star and following the star to the east. When they had gone, the, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, out of Egypt, I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. We will sing What Child Is This, verses 1 and 3 on page 40. The fourth reading continues with Joseph, Mary, and Jesus in Egypt. It's on Matthew chapter 2, beginning with verse 19. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went up and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, he will be called a Nazarene. We'll now sing from heaven above verses 1, 2, and 14, found on page 51.
The fifth lesson is taken from Colossians chapter 3, beginning with verse 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. And as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. We will now sing Angels We Have Heard on High, verses 1, 2, 3, on page 71. Please let us stand and repeat the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty. Let's continue with the response prayer as printed in the bulletin. Lord God, you have blessed us beyond our wildest imagination. You have given us family, home, faith, 
community, work, play, and all we need for each day. It is you, loving God, who breathes life into bodies. It is you who calls us into existence. This Christmas and always draw all people to kneel at the manger. To gather and to Christ's holy presence, draw your people. To greet In the comfort of the promised King. It is you, loving God, who meets us on, us on our way. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray the prayer your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Let us close with the response of prayer as printed in the bulletin. May God our Father fill you with the light of divine love. Amen. May Jesus, our Emmanuel, bring you assurance he will come again. Amen. May the Holy Spirit lead you unto the dawning of the new day. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is with you.
Go in peace, serve the Lord.